uh, uh, high spirits. Uh, Global Spirit is a stock that you should look at. Uh, it's uh, uh, seen a lot of uh, buying today and it has a big investor, uh, Purunju Vilayat, buying that stock uh, lately. That perhaps is the reason for the excitement. Uh, actually joined by the company management, Shekhar Swaroop, the executive director of Global Spirits, is joining us on the phone line. Uh, Shekhar, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, uh, well, how's business looking like? Uh, do you expect that the second half is going to yield much better in terms of sales and profits for you? Hi. Hi, good morning. Um, it, the second half of the year will, for Global Spirits will be, uh, has typically been about 60% of the entire year for us. So mm. yes, um, compared to the first half quarter, it will be slightly better. Mm. Uh, be that as it may, I think the uh, the story in Globus is uh, is more on the uh, expansion that we are conducting in East India, mm. where we are um, setting up two distilleries uh, and growing our installed capacity base by over 70%. Mm. Um, one distillery is coming up in the state of West Bengal and the other one in the state of Bihar. Mm. Uh, both of them are expected to be commissioned um, within the first half of next year and uh, high capacity utilizations in the second half of next year. Okay. Um, this, is, uh, uh, this is really on the back of the increased alcohol demand in the country, uh, considering the fuel alcohol mandate um, that has uh, been implemented by the, the government of India. Um, the demand of alcohol has grown by over uh, 200 crore liters per year. And uh, the industry now is trying to uh, gear up its, um, mm. uh, its sort of uh, capacity. Okay, Shekhar, uh, you know, revenues apart, the profit in the first quarter was uh, more sedate. It was only up 1.6%, uh, 1.25 uh, crore. Will you all do much better in terms of profits uh, for the current year? Um, the, as of now, the uh, second half, like I mentioned, will be a sort of a straight line of the first half. Uh, uh, well, the numbers will be up more, 60% uh, of the full year will be the second half. Mm. Uh, the, the great increase in earnings is going to come from the new uh, facilities that are being set up in East India. Okay, Shekhar, morning. Uh, in the quarter gone by, your IMIL brands, which is your, uh, you know, Nimbu, Narangi, etc., they did very well with a 54% year-on-year growth to 2.9 million cases in the quarter gone by. Uh, what is the expectation for Q3 and Q4 from the IMIL category? Right. Uh, IMIL is really the heart of uh, Globus' business. Um, we operate uh, um, uh, our distillery in Rajasthan, Haryana and we supply IMIL uh, in those states. Um, Haryana has recovered from a, uh, a period of um, uh, a bad period in the market where the sales the industry had sort of slowed down. Uh, we have seen that the growth is, is uh, gradually coming back in Haryana. Uh, Globus's brands uh, benefit, benefited from that greatly in the first half. Mm. Uh, Rajasthan, on the other hand, has, seen, has also seen great uh, growth. Uh, Globus's brands <coughs> are um, eyeing the 30% market share in the state of Rajasthan. Uh, we do believe this growth that we saw in the first half uh, will be sustained into the second half and, of course, next year as well, uh, since this is uh, growth of our brands uh, yeah. and market share that we've captured. Okay. So you launched, in, you launched the IMIL brands in Bihar in uh, January this year. You sold about half a million cases in the quarter gone by. Um, which is almost 20% of your total. So Bihar is also picking up for you. What kind of uh, contribution do you expect from Bihar in the quarters to come? What could the growth be? Um, Bihar, uh, as of now, is a franchise play for us where we have franchised our brands to a, a franchisee in, uh, in the state of uh, Bihar in district of Patna. Um, so as of now, it is going to remain a franchise play in terms of profitability uh, that is limited. Uh, the, the reason the reason we've started doing this is to seed our brands into the district, uh, and of course, um, as our distillery is operational uh, uh, early next year, uh, the margins will increase because we will take up the manufacturing ourselves. Okay. Uh, going forward, uh, we are expecting about um, uh, 150 to 200 thousand cases a month coming from Bihar.
Okay. Just give us an idea of how your earnings growth will look like. Last year you did about 2 rupees. This year already in the first half you have done almost 1 rupee, uh, uh, 60 pies, 70 pies. So uh, are you likely to double your earnings this year itself? And what will it be in FI 17 more importantly? Um, see, it's our, uh, like I mentioned, um, this year will be uh, in a sense a straight line uh, uh, of what is uh, of the first half that's gone okay. by with slightly higher revenues uh, in the mm. second half. Okay. Um, when it comes to next year, um, we are adding uh, over 70% capacity um, with the realizations being uh, much better uh, mm. in uh, East India compared to what we had in North India. Okay. Um, therefore, I do believe that uh, despite adding 70-75% um, um, uh, capacity, our earnings will be uh, higher than uh, the growth in revenue. Our growth in earnings will be higher than the growth in revenue. All right, All we'll, right leave it at that. we'll leave it at that. Thanks uh, for joining us. So that's the word coming in on Global Spirits up almost about 9 odd percent. The market is also picking up some pace now. So just watch out for that. And Sun Pharma is your big mover this morning. It's up 3% right now. Remember, I was telling you earlier that Barclays has upgraded Sun Pharma, stating that after the 40% fall since April, now Sun Pharma is becoming attractive on a risk reward ratio. So 3% higher on Sun Pharma. But our uh, guest Prakash Gaba is still with us in the technicals.